Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the January 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, I do recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And I did post the 2023 full year videos, so if you haven't checked those out, I do recommend that as well. But let's go ahead and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close, so last few weeks or a month. Column number two, we're going to take a general look at what's coming for the month of January. We're also going to do a money column, love column, and fifth and final column. We're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We're going to do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note as well for you. But again, column number one, what's wrapping up and coming to a close. Let's take a look at a summary card here. We have the card productivity. So definitely busy, busy last few weeks or month here for you, Cancer. Uh, lots going on. Things are looking busy. Um, I like this, though, because it means you've got a lot done. But let's see what messages we have here. Okay, the first card that we have is the Ace of Cups. Anytime I have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. With the case of Ace of Cups, this is typically new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage. So some sort of advancement in a relationship. This could be a new friendship or even just like I said, next steps in a relationship. For some of you, this could be new animal or potentially new grandbaby as well. So some new love energy there. The next card that we have is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is a card of waiting for results. Um, there's something you're waiting to hear back on. This could also be making a decision though. Anytime we have two of something on a card, it can be an indicator of decisions. This could also very well be travel plans. So some of you could have been traveling or made travel plans in these last few weeks or month. At the bottom here, we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is very free-spirited, very creative. When I see this card, it like screams freedom. I'm not sure if some of you like had time off from work or again, maybe got to travel, but it feels like you had a lot of flexibility, a lot of freedom. It doesn't mean it was like downtime or not doing anything with productivity, but again, there just feels like a, a level of flex flexibility and freedom that I'm feeling. Uh, in these recent weeks. Let's go and clarify though and see what other messages I can provide you here. The first card that we have is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is very supportive, very tolerant, very empathetic. Um, this relationship or this advancement of the relationship or this friendship or this animal, whatever it may be here, is being very well received, Cancer. Really, really well received. Um, that's such a unique message with the King of Cups, but that's what I'm hearing there. Um, things are just well received. The next card that we have is the World card. And the World card is the last card in the Major Arcana. Oftentimes it's completing a goal or completing a lesson. In this case, there's something you've been waiting to wrap up, waiting to complete. Um, this is also, though, a card of travel, though. So again, travel or travel plans is coming up pretty strong there for you, Cancer. And at the bottom here, we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very nurturing, very healing, very supportive. Um, I feel like you've like had some you time, which is important. You've been able to actually do things that you enjoy. So again, although busy and lots going on, some things you've actually wanted to do, things you've enjoyed doing. Um, if you take a look at the cup on this card, it's more of a trophy than a cup. And it's just like satisfaction. That's the word that I'm hearing when I'm thinking about this cancer. So I think we're happy with the last few weeks, how the holidays went. Okay, now let's take a look at our next column, which is general what's coming for January. 
The card that we have is Expectation. I haven't seen this card in a while. I like when Expectation comes up though, because typically for the majority of you, what this means is January is really going to exceed expectations. I think things are going to go better than planned. You're going to be able to accomplish more than you thought you would. Um, we're just really starting the year off strong here. But let's see what messages we have. I know this doesn't look straight on the camera, Cancer, but I swear it is. No matter what I've done today, it's looked crooked, but just know it is straight, even though it might not look like it. Okay, the first card that we have is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is typically a love card. It's very romantic love. It's a card of partnership. Um, it's a card of proposal. It's a card of marriage. It's interesting, you have these two side-by-side -side relationship cards. Relationship just seems to be a thing. There is some new love swirling around, growth of love. Again, this could be partnership, this could be friendship, this could be an animal. There's just a really strong and growing relationship at this point, Cancer. Um, one thing I want to say about this card too, for those of you who are not feeling the love, that's okay. The Two of Cups can also be a card of opportunities. So I know when we think proposal, we think like engagement and marriage, and that could be the case, but this could also just be like a new opportunity. The next card that we have is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is a card of heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression, surgery, potentially illness. Make sure you're focusing on health here. I feel like some of you could be getting a cold or not feeling very good. Um, maybe you ate or drank too much during the holiday time. Like physically, you're not feeling the best, so just be a little bit aware of that. As proactive as possible, be thinking in terms of health. Um, I do think that there is a conflict that needs to be resolved, though. That's what's coming through with the Three of Swords. When we talk about the Three of Swords, this is like pulling the sword from our own heart. So there's some sort of resolution or conflict that I think you may need to work to resolve this month, Cancer. And at the bottom here, we have the hangman. The hangman is a card of wisdom. You're in a really smart and wise position here right now. Um, you've gained perspective. I think you're actually really clear too on what you expect from January. Like expectations just seem to be clear. Um, but again, there's a lot of wisdom coming through. Sometimes with the hangman, there's like a piece of missing information that we need before we can move forward. So it can be a little stagnant. So there may be a missing kind of piece of information here too, but let's clarify and see what other context we can provide. The first clarifier we have is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is very reliable. This new relationship is very reliable, very dedicated, very hardworking, very balanced. Um, so I like to see that. Uh, it's also very patient and understanding. So there's a lot of good traits associated with this new relationship that's coming through. The next card that we have is the Ace of Swords. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. This can also be surgery or illness. So that keeps coming up for some of you, so just be aware. Again, be thinking and making physical health a priority here, Cancer. Um, but this is also clarity. And I like to see this because I was just telling you at the Hangman, I think there could potentially be a void or some missing information. So this is like clarity, this is additional wisdom. Um, so finding out the information that you need. At the bottom, also if you're like, so I know I've talked a lot about physical health, but like mental health isn't feeling the best. There is a lot of like mental health and mental clarity that comes with the Ace of Swords. At the bottom here we have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is very self-sufficient. It's a card of financial gain. It's a card of luxury. Um, this is kind of tying into the Three of Swords, though, where I think that you'll be initiating resolving this conflict or righting this wrong or, like, doing that healing. Um, in terms of how it connects with the Hangman, um... I don't know, it's just like you know what you need to do. It's that solo action, it's you taking action here, Cancer. Okay, now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. I got this new deck of cards, which is like money, tips, tricks, advice. 
So we're going to start out with that. You have a practice card. It says, if you are unable to physically touch money in the way you want, infuse the essence of luxury into your life through simple things such as a powerful fragrance. This practice will have an energetic impact in the same way physical money would. So in this column, we're going to talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whatever you associate with money here, Cancer. The first card that we have is the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is very studious, very hardworking. I do think you're going to be pretty busy going into the new year. I see you working pretty hard. It's not like an insane, like, destroy work-life balance type energy, but I do think it's getting busier for you. This is also a card of studying. So some of you could be in school or like pursuing a certification or something of that. I see like more advanced learning happening with the Page of Cups. The next card that we have is the Fool card. The Fool card is the card of the first card in the Major Arcana. It's fresh hope, it's taking chances, it's new paths, adventures, beginnings. Do you feel like there's new opportunity or new beginning coming for you? Again, it could be this continued learning or pursuing this certification. I do see you studying or like focusing in that manner. Um, but some sort of new opportunity, so I like this. Generally speaking, too, it's like let's say it's not a new career opportunity. We all are we are also in January, so that in itself, new year, new opportunities that come with that. This could be a great time to like set a new budget or think about spending. Um, there's just like a blank slate, lots of newness for you in terms of career and money here. At the bottom, we have the strength card. The strength card is a card of self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. Um, like this doesn't need to be worked on. This is being achieved is what I'm hearing. So it feels like there is a nice balance. Um, I feel like you're being respected. You're being supported. You're being encouraged. Um, all nice things. It's like, this isn't typically a balance card, but balance is kind of what I'm hearing. So financially and career wise, it feels really sound and it feels content. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what other clarifiers we have. The first card that we have is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card of surprise gifts and I feel like this is more of a surprise opportunity. Again, this is like the opportunity to go back to school, obtain a certification, study for something, work towards something. This is just a new opportunity coming in. It's connecting in with that fool really nicely, but it kind of comes as a surprise. It's not something you were anticipating or expecting cancer. The next card that we have is the Devil card. The Devil card is a card of greed, envy, materialism. One thing that I was saying with the Fool card is like it could be a good time to think about your spending and your saving habits for the new year. The Devil card is all about that. Uh, it's all about budgeting and saving money and spending appropriately. Um, so I would definitely focus on budget when I see the Devil card. Budget is one of those card one of those meanings that comes through. Um, so financially, you can create whatever you want. You have a, a fresh slate, a new beginning here, Cancer. At the bottom here, we have the Ace of Cups. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. With the case of Ace of Cups, this is typically new baby relationship proposal. Um, there could be a new relationship that's kind of fostering you in this new way, giving you this support and this respect. Um, so perhaps a new relationship coming for you in January as it relates to career. Um, this too, though, could be the proposal, that opportunity that we've been talking about, this new thing that we've referred to several other times. Okay, at this time, we're going to take a look at anything related to love. So we're going to pull a quick love card to start off with here. This says, embrace through each other, you will find the missing pieces. In this call, we're going to talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage. Whatever you associate with love here, Cancer. And let's see what we're working with. The first card that we have is the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is coming through feeling isolated. I don't think you're like going to get as much time with your family as you typically would, or your spouse or your friends. Like maybe your spouse is really busy at work, or like 
maybe grandma and grandpa have the kids for a holiday break. Um, it feels a little bit more alone. It's not a bad thing, but I just feel like you are getting more self time this month than you typically would. So be aware of that. Other people might be busy or other things might be going on. She's just not getting as much family or friend time uh, as you would like or typically do. The next card that we have is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is like weighing options, but this card is a busy card. So again, that's kind of supporting what I'm seeing and feeling. She's going to be busy and I don't know that you're getting that like quality time that you would like this month. At the bottom here, we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is also, or excuse me, the Eight of Swords. This is also a card of isolation. So again, maybe not getting that time. I see a lot of alone time this month. The nice thing with the Eight of Swords though, is like this is self-imposed restrictions. And I'm not saying you can control everybody else's schedules and plans, um, but it's like, you can control this typically though. So if you are really feeling you should be getting more time that you're not getting, um, you do have some control and some input and some say into that. So again, if you're feeling lonely, you're not getting the time you need, not getting the time you want, uh, do express that because I think you can get a pretty good response there. So let's go ahead and look for clarifiers and see what other messages we have coming through. The first card that we have is the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a card of family, friends. Again, it's just not getting the time that we think we usually would or would like to get with family and friends. Um, potentially they'll look for like a celebration or like look to put time on a, a calendar schedule. Like very intentionally schedule in time with these people, Cancer. The next card that we have is the Sun card. The Sun card is a card, uh, in terms of good deck and the good cards in the tarot deck, it really doesn't get much better than the Sun card. This is material happiness, joyous outcomes, success. Uh, you might actually enjoy some of this quiet time, some of this alone time. Um, so the busy might not be bad. Like I said, it, it could be a quiet month for you in that sense. And that might not be a bad thing for you. Like I said, there is some joy, kind of some underlying joy in some of the quiet time here. At the bottom here, we have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is a card of making plans. Typically this is travel plans, but again, this is a card of making plans. So if you want or need or feel like you should have this time with somebody, I would again, encourage you to be very intentional and like try to schedule that time when possible. Make plans. Okay, now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guide, something to carry into the month of January. The card that we have is repetition. Um, this is good. I like this, especially starting at the beginning of the year. We need to start building happy, healthy, meaningful habits. Start repeating. Um, once we do something for 30 days, it becomes a habit. So be thinking about repetition. Be thinking about building healthy habits in January. So let's see what messages we have here. The first card that we have is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords, anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. This is also new clarity. So it's like you know what you want, so you need to start creating habits that support what you want here, Cancer. The next card that we have is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a very solo card. This is self-sufficient, it's solo, it's doing for you. So you need to focus on these habits. Um, if you're looking for like a gym buddy or something of that sort, I think you can, but it may not be the best option for you. Or like, even like a book club. I feel like this feels very solo, so it's like you need to think about what you want and start to repeat those habits to start accomplishing what you want. Again, it's very self-driven. I don't know that you're gonna get a lot of support or buy-in from others here. At the bottom here, we have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of patience. Um, I will say it seems like it's maybe taking a little bit longer to see results, but just because you don't see results right away doesn't mean that you should get discouraged, your Cancer. So again, start building the habits, start getting, get started on the repetition, and the rest will follow. But don't just like abandon ship because you don't see uh, a result that you're hoping for right away. Okay, the first clarifier we have is the Knight of Swords. 
The Knight of Swords is a lifestyle change. Um, so again, this is creating those new habits. This is the change that we want. We're clear on what we want. So put a clear plan together how we can start to accomplish what we want. So seeking lifestyle change here. The next card that we have is the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands has a lot of different meanings, but one of the card, uh, one of the meanings of this card is sport. So it's very physical. Um, some of you may not have physical goals, like maybe you don't want to gain weight or lose weight or whatever it may be, but physical activity seems to be important, so I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, physical activity, moving the body, is coming through here for you. And at the bottom here, the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is kind of a low card. It's a card of low feelings. Again, some of you are going to feel a little discouraged when you don't see results right away but we need to stick with the repetition and give things time to come together. Okay, Cancer, at this time I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them here. But question number one is the Seven of Spades. This is number 25 card. That's going to be a no. Question number two is the Six of Diamonds. This is number 51 card. That's going to be a no. And question number three is the six of clubs. This is number 43 card. That's going to be a no. No's across the board. Hopefully you were looking for no's there, Cancer. Okay, then we're also going to pull a card from our Healing Stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of January. You have Citrine this month, which is good for new lease on life. Really helps you see your self-worth. Gives you joy in life. And it gives you lots of courage to go on these new paths and adventures. Also, last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Your Healing Note says, When we share joy and happiness, we give two of the most he most powerful healing medicines in the world. Thank you so much, Cancer, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, if you have not done. Uh, also, if you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Cancer, and I hope you have the best January.